Pat? Yes? I just realized I do not have the variance application in front of me for Rocky Hill Road. Neither do so I. That means <laughs> Go ahead. So I can't read the five questions. Um, one of the other board members, if they have it, they could do it. I'm hoping so. All right, it's seven o'clock. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome everyone to this November 10th meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals via Zoom. Um, entertain a motion to open open the meeting, please. I move to open the meeting. A second, please. Thank you, Catherine. I'll second that. All those in favor signify by aye. 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 Steve, you on? Lan, I just want to interrupt Steve. You're on mute. Pat, are you able to get Stephen? Um, it says they're unmuted, but I don't think their volume is up. Is your speakers on, Joyce, in the lower right corner? They're still working on their on their volume. Okay. Stephen is here. He just sent me a text. He he's here, but he can hear. Okay. <clears throat> His microphone might be off in the lower right corner. Are you able to get him on yet? I think they're working on it. Okay, we'll wait. He sent me a text, they're having a problem. You know, they can call into the number too and have the phone and speak into the phone and still have the um, the video. Oh, 
And it looks like Steve is calling you. Okay, You're calling me on the phone? Yes, <clears throat> yes, he's shaking his okay. head, yes. <laughs> okay. So if, if you wanna um, put him on speaker, Len. Okay. That. Steve? I can hear you on my phone. Okay, I can hear you. Okay, we're fine where we are now. Pat, can you hear Steven? Yes. Okay. 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 Um, okay, so first item I would like to discuss at tonight's meeting um, is the public comment. Let's open and entertain a motion for public comment. Steve, you there? Yeah, I got you. Okay, I enter. I, I can you uh, entertain a motion to open a public comment period? Oh, I make a motion to open a public comment. Thank you. Second, please. I'll second it. Catherine did. Okay. Okay, Catherine, that's fine. Uh, first thing I would like to say at the public comment time is there will be no discussion on the bike path with regard to the Trans Hudson property located at the corner of Route 299 and um, North Putt Corners. That will be discussed at a separate meeting on November 17th. Is there anyone there in the audience that would like to speak with regard to public comment? Okay, I entertain a motion to close the public here and uh, close the public comment. I make a motion. Okay, I'll Stephen made the motion. I'll second it. Figure all those say by aye. 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 Okay. Um, <clears throat> at the next item on the agenda, I would like to open the public hearing for the property located at 31 Rocky Hill Road. Property owner, Mr. La Cantora, with regard to the uh, side yard issues. I make a motion we open. Okay, we're open. Thank you. I'll second that. All, the, all those in favor by aye? Aye. Okay. Aye. Thank you. Aye. Public hearing is open. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm looking at Catherine now. And you do have someone here, Sherry Runk. Yep. Okay. Dave, Sherry Runk and Dave Mudge. Mm -hmm. We're at uh, 31 Rocky Hill, directly across okay. it. 30, 30 Rocky Hill, excuse me, directly across the street. Um, we've got some concerns. Um, I think some of these were communicated in a letter uh, that the planning board should have got this, gotten this evening. But um, the first thing is just that the deck where it is would be really out of character for the neighborhood. There's no other decks close to the, close to the streets or facing the streets. Um, Mr. Lacantara's house is closer to the road than most houses on this stretch of road anyway. Um, and with no sketch, we have no idea where he really wants to build this. Uh, the pictures just showed, you know, two shots of the, uh, the side of the road that faces, faces Rocky Hill. Um, what we do know from the, from the, uh, from the submission is that it's going to end up being about six steps away from the road, the edge of the deck. Um, it's also directly across the street from our living room window. One of the things we love about this neighborhood is a sense of privacy. The houses are well spaced, the back from the road. This proposed deck would be a visual encroachment on our, on our privacy. Any value added to his, his house might very well be balanced by a loss of value in our house and even potential effect of saleability. Um, 
I just, we would ask that the board consider other ways for him to get what he wants without involving a variance. Thank you. Pat? Yes. Um, I have a letter that I would like to read that I received today. Can I read that? Okay. Uh, this is from Shereel Silver. We would like to express our concerns, RE, the requested variance. We have been working, we have been watching progress on this house for years, and we appreciate the improvements so far. We look forward to meeting our neighbors one day. We think a deck this far toward Rocky Hill Road is substantial and will intrude too much on the front yard side back. What is that word? Setback. Rule. Adversely affecting the character of the neighborhood. <clears throat> there would be an alternative on the other side of the house, which would have less impact and likely not require a variance. We believe this problem is self-created and can be resolved in other ways. Since there is no sketch plan, we cannot visualize it well and believe they should meet this requirement. Thank you for thank you for alerting us to this concern and hear our hear out our voices. Shereel Silver and Clark Pensley from 82 Rocky Hill Road. Pat, are you there? No. Yes, I am. Now, did you hear the letter that I read? Yes, I did. I think okay. everyone heard okay. it. That means that everyone heard it, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. Is there anyone else to speak during the public comment period with regard to 31 Rocky Hill Road? Leonard, I'd just like to ask, uh, I see the applicant appears to be present. Applicant have any comments at this time? You're on mute, Aaron. Right. Sorry about that. Is this my opportunity to um, re reply? Yes, you may speak now. Okay, um, there were sketches that were submitted. I'm not sure why they were uh, circulated. Um, as far as that, uh, secondly, as far as infringing upon anyone's privacy, I think the only variance roughly we're asking for is about maybe six or seven feet on my property. Um, so I could build a deck regardless within less than six or seven feet, maybe, maybe eight feet, I'm, I'm guess, guesstimating. But my point is that the deck could still be built within the, the reason, reasonable limit and it will still be visually whatever it's going to be. And we're really talking about a difference of, of feet here. As far as it being anywhere near the visibility of my neighbors across the street's property, um, if I wanted, I probably will measure tomorrow. If I had known, I would have already measured. Um, like I said, once again, we're talking about six feet difference as to what I'm allowed to build on my own area there so i'm pretty sure if i just guesstimating again that the distance between any edge of this proposed deck and my neighbor's uh living room window or even their house is probably hundreds and hundreds of feet because their house sits so far back onto their property i'm i really find it hard to um to actually even comprehend how anything within a six foot discrepancy on my property would infringe upon any of their rights, especially to go as far as to say that I would be taking away from the value of their home. Um, so that would be my response there. As far as once everyone's concerned about the look, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what the rights or the laws are that anyone can have a say so regarding my aesthetics uh, on, on, on my design aesthetics. I think that's a little bit overreaching 
uh, especially someone at 82 Rocky Hill Road, which is so far away that they probably don't even, couldn't even, you know, pick out my house in a drawing possibly. Uh, so those are my two, um, my, my two uh, responses was that the deck could still be built smaller, but it's still going to be visually the same exact scenario. We're talking about a difference of six feet. I'm really not understanding how that could annoy or upset anyone personally. Len, Kitty Brown, yes, has, Kitty Brown has a letter uh, for public comments on this public hearing. She'd like to read it. I mean, yeah, I, who has the, you have the letter? No, Kitty Brown, she wants to read a letter that she sent to the plan zone board email, but it wasn't accepted yet because no one's there. She wants oh, I understand. Yeah, she'd like to read it. By all means. Um, Pat, my screen is showing Kitty on mute. Kitty on mute over here. Yeah, K Kitty okay. is on mute. Yeah, I'm, uh, Kitty is on mute. Yeah. Okay. Am I unmuted? No, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Um, the letter is, Dear Chair Loza and members of the ZBA, we are residents of the Rocky Hill Road neighborhood and request that you deny the Canfora variance. Because the application did not include the required sketch plan drawn to scale, you are not able to fully gauge how close this deck will be to Rocky Hill Road please come and visit the site and see for yourselves that the requested variance is within just a few feet of the town right of way. This would create a conflict between the town and the owner should the town ever seek to widen Rocky Hill Road. As per the variance guidelines, A, an undesirable change to the neighborhood character will arise as this would be the only deck on the road in the entire neighborhood. All other decks are either off the back or the side of the houses. This benefit can be obtained by extending the pre-existing very attractive deck on the north side of the house. 15 feet is a substantial variance. Thank you for your consideration. Kitty Brown, Jackie and Lou Brownstein, Janet Chapman, Steffi Morrison, Jim and Nancy Nocito, Sherry Runk, Dave Munch, Dave Smith, Robin and Will Torres, Ron and Carol Zuckerman. Um, I think that's it. Kitty, are all of those names that you read residents of Rocky Hill Road? Yes. What was the total number of names that you read, please? Uh, you know what? I need to get the newest version because people continue to sign on. Um, so hang on. I think it's about 12, but I need to go to a different device. OK. When someone else joined that may want to speak. Okay, um, let's let's wait. Let's let Chrissy, uh, um, Katie Brown, get her number, please. Okay. You know, if you want to let someone else speak, because I'm going to have to open up an old okay. laptop to find all this, um, but I I think I can find it. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's uh, Kristen Brown, Jackie and Lou Brownstein. Steffi Morrison, Dave Mudge, Jim Nacito, Sherry Runk, Ron Simon, David Smith, Ron and Carol Zuckerman, Robin and Will Torres. So it's 14. Okay. They're all Thank you very much. Hill Road, or are they in the community itself? Um, what, did, did those people receive letters of notice from the building department? I don't know, but those people drive past this residence every day. Okay, so, so another well, Rocky Rocky Hill Road. That's the only entrance to, to all of the roads up there. Yes, I understand. I think also, um, 
for the record, it should be noted that there is a dog business at 2 Rocky Hill Road, of which I own the building. And Catherine Fuller has also made mention earlier on that she lives on Rocky Hill Road. Neither one of us felt the need to recuse ourselves in the making of this decision. Is that still your 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 uh, your position, Catherine? It is. Uh, I do not know the applicant, uh, and I only knew of this application when it was submitted to the okay. zoning board. I want to clarify, though, I do not live on Rocky Hill Road. I live on Stonehenge Avenue, which okay. is in the neighborhood right nearby. Thank you. Um, Pat, there is another person that wanted to speak. Well, they joined. I don't know if they want to speak. Um, okay. Did you say? Sarah or Mike? Did you read the letter from them, Sudi, S-I-U-D-Y, Len? I did not receive a letter. What is the, what is the name? Sudi, S-I-U-D-Y, is the last right. I, I see the name here now, but I did not receive a letter from, from them. What is their uh, name? S T U D Y. I'm Kara Sudi. Um, I'm just joining in to listen as a neighbor. Oh, it's um, S I U D Y. Just see what's going on. Okay. That's Tara. She, she just spoke. Mm -hmm. She's just listening. So, so neither Tara nor Mike Sudi will be saying anything. She just said that she joined in just to listen. Okay. Well, then she missed everything that was said if she just joined in. No, I heard everything that was said. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else that wishes to speak with regard to the application for the variance at 31 Rocky Hill Road. Um, I'd just like to say one more thing, please. Um, Wait, hold on. Who am I talking to? This is Aaron Lockenfora. Hello. Yes, Aaron. So just a lot of people's concerns seem to be some miscommunication or misconception that there were no drawings submitted, but there were. I'm not exactly sure how or why they didn't get that information or, 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 but I'm, I'm not exactly sure that that should be uh, considered because it's not that's not true. Drawings were submitted. And and the, the, the proposed ending of the deck is nowhere near the edge or near the side of the road. So there's quite a few untrue statements that are being cast about the accuracy of the project, which, which I don't appreciate. Stacy, are there are you there for any clarification on this? Um, well, he did submit. He did submit a plot plan um, that was with everybody's packet that should have been um, posted online. I can go back and check to see if it's on the website under his uh, review. <laughs> um, he's looking for a. Uh, he's looking for a variance. His setback is 50, is 25 feet. Um, he's looking to bring the deck out to 15 feet. So he's looking for a 10 foot um, variance. Um, for his deck. So the deck is proposed to be 16 feet um, in width and um, he's allowed six. So okay. I don't know if that clarifies things. I, I know I wasn't at the last meeting, um, but I know that there was some confusion in regards to the enclosed porch. There's actually arrow that shows the enclosed porch is that the hatched area you're there i can hear you. so you know, I don't know if board members remember that but i think that was clarified joe was that clarified last month yeah the, yeah i had questions about that also because there there were or there was at least one sketch that accompanied the application that I got. It's possible that maybe people didn't see it, or if they saw it, maybe there was some confusion. 
on the sketch that was, a, the, which is actually kind of a dimensioned drawing from what appears to be a, a survey of the property. And then the uh, dimensions of the deck are drawn on that diagram. Um, and the applicant, by all means, correct me if I say anything wrong. Um, on the drawing or the sketch the plan that was submitted with the application, I think I was the one that asked the question. There is a, a space toward the portion of the house that faces Rocky Hill Road that says enclosed porch. I thought that was an existing porch. Apparently not. That reference to enclosed porch refers to a um, cross-hatched section by an arrow. So there is apparently an existing enclosed porch at the front of the house. Then the deck that's proposed, if I'm correct, is according to the sketch stage, it says it's 32 feet in width. According, according to the sketch, the existing house, uh, yes, it's, it's 32 feet in width um, and 16 feet deep. So it's coming 16 feet out from the existing building. House, right. It's heading towards Stonehenge, 32 feet. Yeah. Back, it's heading north, 24 feet, and then coming back to the house, eight feet. Okay, so it's not quite an L-shaped deck, but there is a sketch, and the, and the applicant is right, there, there is a sketch that appears to be accurately dimensioned with the application. Um, and I'll ask the applicant also, when you addressed this earlier, you said something about six feet. I was wrong. I'm sorry. It's and I feet. and I didn't understand that. Okay, that's wrong. why sorry, I'm asking. Ten, ten feet. I was looking at the wrong note. Here. Okay. So the variance is for if this were granted, there would be 15 feet from the leading edge of the proposed deck to the property line which appears to be the town right of way because the surveyor's diagram shows the paved area of Rocky Hill Road and an area that sits between the paved portion and the property line, which is not unusual. So apparently it's back farther than the paved portion, but it is still leaves only 15.7 feet to the property line and the required setback is 25. Right, Stacy? That's correct. Okay. Um, one of the speakers made mention to, uh, maybe it was Kitty, I'm not sure, about there's room at the north side of the house. The sketch, I'm not sure where north is. So maybe the applicant could help me when we many, talk about. Many people think, I think Stacy will know as well that the, the, the area that I'm, wanting to build the deck and people do consider a, the side of the house and not the front of the house nor the my house is not positioned in the same I think that should be taken into account as well that my house is not built in the same position as most other people's houses and I think they're getting they're kind of using that as a as a uh, criteria that doesn't necessarily apply to my scenario my house doesn't sit flat facing Rocky Hill Road where the front door is on Rocky Hill Road it's my house is in a different position. I'm not exactly sure how to explain that, Stacy. But you know, we always have the conversation as to where the actual front of my house is. Uh, people think the back is the front, most of them. So this technically is where this deck would be is not on the front of the house. It's on the. It's in all reality on the side of my house. Well, but regardless, you still have that separate. No, I understand that. That's and, why we're doing this process. Yeah. And, and the front of your house. I mean, you know, it, it's. He enters the house behind the driveway. That is where the front door technically is. But you have two required front yards, both which will be at 25 feet. So, so Stacy, the looking at the diagram that was submitted with the application, and for the applicant, the the front facing portion of your house 
is on the side of the house nearest where the sketch says septic or it's nearest that portion of the property that says well i would consider the front of the house the septic side of the house personally the, okay the septic side of the house yeah. there's like a small deck and some stairs leading down okay so that's the front but stacy because this is a corner lot the 25 foot yeah. setback supply am i right by to both frontages along both streets yes right okay all right so then if someone made the comment about there's ample room on the to the north maybe could they clarify that for me the north side is the is the is the the width side of the building where it says deck okay so that so up north is up on this diagram yes there's 103 feet from the north edge of the building to the north property line okay I'm sorry, Stacy. So can you clarify? Is that the Stonehenge side, or is that is yes. that what you're referring to? Well, not 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 from the building to the street, but that end of the house where the new deck was built. Yeah. Okay. And Stacy, to clarify the setback, whether on the Rocky Hill side facing or the Stonehenge side facing the house is 25 feet because it is a corner lot. Is that accurate? Yes, you can only have one front yard, okay? Mm -hmm. But on corner lots, okay, you've got to maintain the requirement of a front yard, even though it's a side yard, okay, because of the street. So the setback is the same. So he's got 31.7 feet from the corner of the house to the property line on Rocky Hill Road. And he's got 55.7 feet from the corner of the house to the property line on Stonehenge. I'm sorry, you cut out. What was the distance from the house to Stonehenge? 55 feet, seven inches. Five, so, five. Yeah. Thank you. So it appears that when they, they it appears the way the house was built that they were really looking at the side of Stonehenge being the actual front yard, which would position where he'd like to put the deck in the side yard, except it's got to meet front yard standards. Stacy, am I correct in understanding that if this entire deck was to be flipped over the house per se, that it would need no variances than perhaps the front that would be correct okay thank you along that line stacy question from the october meeting and this is also for the applicant i guess my understanding was that that 24 by 8 foot section that shows on your diagram is configured that way to utilize a doorway that goes into the existing enclosed porch? Correct. Okay. Is there, is there a reason why the, that doorway could still be accessed and the deck put on the easterly side of the house instead of the southerly side of the house. Are we talking about open, basically walking out that door going to the left is what uh, you suggest? If, if you will, if you were to walk out that door and go to your left as opposed to your right. There's, yes. um, there's a number of mechanical things in the way there. There's an HVAC compressor there, which is an issue. There's the oil lines that are there there's all number of electrical lines that are that are all ever all most of my main electrical is literally inches from the left of that doorway um also the grading we, i don't know if you remember we were discussing we thought maybe we needed stairs but we do not need any steps it's because mm -hmm. the grade is actually very high 
on that side. And I explored the option of utilizing that open space there as an initial solution. But apparently the grade is so high there that it would be very difficult to have the pillars in the ground. The, 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 there was not enough room for the, the tubes and the wood. The wood would basically be interfering with the, grass, the dirt and grass, apparently. There wasn't enough space there for the height we were, would be having coming out of the, the doorway because the grade goes up there quite significantly, which is the reason we didn't need a stair ultimately. So you did consider that as an alternative? I did, yes. Between the mechanical and the grade, I was almost told it was not even a possibility. Would you be at all amenable to decreasing the size of the deck? Well, um, who said that? I'm sorry, I can't say. I'm, I got lost here on the Zoom. Leonard Loza. Leonard. Um, I'm, 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 I'm open to hear what people have to say. I personally didn't think we were dealing with a huge ask of a 10-foot variant, personally. I didn't think it was a gigantic um, thing to be at. I, I'm surprised it was a public outcry, to be completely honest with you. But, um, well, there, there, there obviously is an apparent concern of your neighbors with regard to well, its appearance. Well, there was a lot of misconceptions amongst them as well, that there was no sight. And, and I think and, I'm getting that pushback because they feel that I didn't uh, complete the process properly, more ultimately than, um, than any other reasoning. I would like to just state that we didn't see it on the website. We didn't get anything in the mail about any plans. So uh, we're not blaming you at all, Aaron. We just didn't see it on the website. I mean, Stacy, you Stacey can attest to the amount of attention to detail and how many times I've bothered her about trying to do this pro exact properly, right, Stacy? How many times I've, I've annoyed you with every little detail I'm trying to make sure I, I did exactly what I'm allowed to do. No, but I, I feel like the neighbors feel like I tried to pull one over on them and that's not the case uh -huh. at all. And I can, and I can understand their concern and their reaction because there was some, some, something got lost in the shuffle here with their inability to see the drawings. Yeah. Pat, you have a hand raised on camera. <laughs> yeah, it's Amy. Okay. Go ahead. Um, just a contribution to the public comment as as a citizen. Uh, it seems to no, me that please, 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 hold on. Please identify yourself. They don't know who you are. I beg your pardon. Amy, Amy Donnelly. I don't live in this neighborhood, but I live in the town. Uh, um, and when I've gone to um, hearings in the past, the information has been laid out in such a way that all the neighbors could see it. And I hear a lot of uh, confusion about six feet or 10 feet or 15 feet and which way is north. And it seems to me that the public hearing uh, might be held over until the neighbors know exactly what they're commenting on. That's just that's my point of view on that. Thank you. Can we possibly like post a, fo a, a photo in this chat here? And uh, acceptable so everyone concerned at the moment could get the drawing at least. I, I went through a lot of work to get that drawing so I didn't ha run into problems with this process to be completely honest with you. Well it seems to me when you talk about the drawing that you're you're not quite sure I'm, I'm six feet ten feet so. I'm fine with the drawing. Okay so I think it would be helpful for the neighbors to be able to see it that's the entirety of my comment. I agree with you, and I and I did my portion of allowing that to happen. Aaron, would you be amenable to a continuance of this public hearing to the next meeting by placing a drawing attached to a stake in the front of your property or the side of your property where the neighbors could view it in its entirety? Sure. How large does it have to be? What's the dimensions of the uh, of the uh, of the drawing? Well, I'm quite I sure it would fit I, fine I, on it. I'm asking because I just want to do what you guys want me to do. That's why. I don't want anyone to say it was too small or too big. Hi. Um, I, 
May I speak? You may. Um, I think for some reason the sketch plan was not included in the PDF of the application that the neighborhood could view. So if that could just be uh, added to that, I, I don't think we need to have Aaron go to the trouble of you know, creating a sign and posting it and worrying about its size. But um, apparently there was a sketch plan and for some reason it just was not included in the publicly viewable application on the planning on the ZBA website. Kitty, I believe that that sketch plan was a separate PDF file out on the web page. So the application is there, and I believe that the sketch plan, the, the sketch was separate right below it. Okay, well, that, that explains the confusion. I mean, it's been a while since it's been posted there, and I don't have access right now to look at it and verify it, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's the sketch plan that he submitted. Is that something okay. we could verify while we're all on here? I just don't want to be penalized because of some sort of um, someone didn't find something where it, where it was. And unfortunately, that's not my that shouldn't be I shouldn't be penalized because maybe someone overlooked something and they're in their and they were maybe they didn't look at all. I don't know. I, I, I really don't. I think they had the opportunity to find things where they were. If Pat says things were done correctly, I think we should be able to make a decision this evening. To be Let me see there. if I can find it. Yeah, Dave is going back to his computer. He had the zoning board up and he's pretty technically savvy as, as I am. And if we did miss it, it just uh, was a misunderstanding, but we, we if did look. There, if it's not there, I'm happy to do whatever the fair thing is to do for everyone. Well, and we could have just missed it, Aaron, but not we'll missed. we'll check. Just checked. It but is it's not, not just you, Sherry. Uh, you do it, you Sherry. It's you and seventeen other people. You know? I think Stacy and I both just looked and did not find it. Is that correct, Stacy? The the application was there. The original PDF with two photographs of the site, but the sketch plan was omitted from the yeah. website that is yeah. currently available. Is, is there a way then, for instance, on another posting to be certain that the sketch does show up and can be readily viewed by people if the string goes over? I mean, I so at least it gives people an opportunity to see what we're talking about. They could post their emails in here in this chat and I'll, I'll email everyone right now. Yes, Joe, we can get it posted to the web page. I would prefer to see it posted to the web page rather than send this this particular group because there may be others that for one reason or another could not speak this evening. Can I make a comment? You may. Thank you. It's Amy Donnelly again. Uh, the um, the application form calls for nine copies of the sketch plan. Uh, Aaron, did you make nine copies of the sketch plan? I will let the board answer that question for me, please. Did you, but did you make them? Yes, I did. And they were notarized. Okay. So at this point in time, we need to make a decision. We either close the public hearing and make a vote or we can extend the public hearing to the next meeting when all of the members, all of the neighbors, excuse me, have had the opportunity to see the, see the plan. Aaron, what would you like us to do? Um, hmm. I mean, is it my sole decision here? It's your decision. Oh, well, it's really the board's decision, I yeah. think, Leonard. I didn't think it was. I mean, okay. A sketch plan is part of the application. It was submitted as part of the application, apparently. The board members here, I believe, got it. When the, the public hearing was advertised, for whatever reason, that required portion of the application did not go out there and may or may not be the reason for 
one or some or all or none of the letters so far that have come in that the board would be considering. Whether or not a sketch, the sketch plan would make a difference or not, I don't know. My concern is for the process and to make sure that if the board were to make a decision on this either way, the lack of the sketch plan as part of the posted application, especially with COVID the way it, it is and how it's influencing things, I wouldn't want that to become part of a problem for the determination, no matter how it went. That's from a legal perspective from the board's point of view. If the applicant agrees, it may be wise then to put it over, make sure that sketch gets posted, may or may not change any minds, but at least the board will be making a determination on a complete record that everyone else saw also. So would you, you would you uh, would you would you say that that package that went out was incomplete? Uh, it sounds as though I mean Stacy, looking at the website at least, uh, said the sketch did not seem to appear. Right, Stacy? That's correct. Okay, so okay. it could not have been taken into consideration by anybody who addressed the board so far. I would enter a motion to continue this public hearing. I second. I, all those in favor by aye. 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 Stephen? Aye. Aye. Aye by Stephen. So unanimously this um, will be deferred to our December meeting. I cannot give you the date yet for the December meeting because that's something that we also need to discuss. We will do that later in the meeting. I entertain a motion for continuing. Oh, we did that already, sorry. Please, Spartacus, come on, lay down. Okay, um, the next, since the public hearing is closed, I mean, the the the, uh, the public hearing is a continuance. Next item on the agenda to discuss has to do with the new secretary and our present date of meeting, which is the second Tuesday of each month. The village D ZBA is meeting tonight also. So there is a conflict. I need to ask everyone, Stacy, Joe, Catherine, Stephen, and myself, does the second Wednesday or Thursday work? I would like to keep it in the same week based on the fact that in regard to sending patients to the county, it would keep it within the same time frame that it's within now. Does anyone have a preference to the second Wednesday or second Thursday? Members of the board, Joe, Stacy. I'm sorry, Leonard, you were breaking up a little bit. Did you say the second Wednesday, Thursday of the month? The second Wednesday or the second Thursday? Do, are they okay with you, Catherine? Yes, I prefer Wednesday, but... Yes, that's okay. okay. I prefer Wednesday also. Oh, Joe? Wednesday Wednesday works for me, Leonard. Okay, thank you. Uh, Stacy? Yes, I prefer Wednesday. Okay, that's excellent. So it's pretty much unanimous. Steve, Wednesday okay for you? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, so I will approach the board and see if we can get this moved to the second Wednesday of each month. Um, Stacy. So here's, here's how it's gonna work, Leonard. Um, the next regularly scheduled meeting would be December 8th, which is a Tuesday. So you all have to make the meeting for Wednesday the 9th. Okay, so Alana can be present for that. Um, that's okay meeting of the year on the, the first week of uh, 2021 the town does its reorg meeting 
And at that time, you will submit your schedule, okay, which Alana will make up as if you will, you know, decide that's what you want for the second Wednesday of the month. So you don't need to vote on all of that. She'll just do that schedule up, it'll get submitted with the reorg, and it'll that'll be that. You only have to worry about this for one month right now. Okay. So it appears. So am I correct, Stacy? That December 9th will work or will not work? Yeah, Wednesday, December 9th will work. Okay. So the public hearing will be opened and continued to December 9th, and hopefully we will have two more members appointed to our board by then, and the secretary will be in place. Um. Uh, the next item that I would like to discuss, the town has asked me at, at their last meeting, they were not able to make a decision as to the two board members, the two potential board members that we recommended, being Amy Donnelly and Mike Calamano. They then asked me to round up letters of intent, which they both have right now, and they would like me to come to their next meeting to explain why we felt that Amy Donnelly and Mike Calamano would be the best choices for positions on the ZBA meeting. And the three reasons that I came up with both have extensive experience in zoning. They are both familiar with Seeker and they both expressed environmental concerns. Can I pass this message forward as to the opinions of the board? I'd entertain a motion to, to recommend those people based on the three recommendations that I just read to you. Do I have a second for that? I second it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All those in favor by aye. 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 Okay. Mo motion carried. Um, is there anything else that any of the board members, our attorney Joseph Moriello or Stacy, would like to speak about? Only, only that I saw Amy with her hand up. Okay. I didn't see Amy with her hand up. Amy, you may speak. Uh, I just wanted to say that I uh, I attached again my letter of application, uh, and I want to make sure that Len, you have it, or somebody at the town board has I, it. I got I got your letter. Thank you. And I forwarded it to the supervisor, and it is my intention to call him and make sure that he has your letter and Mike Calamano's letter printed. And ready to just or or emailed it to the other board members so we can move forward with this process. Thank you. Okay. Leonard, I have a question. Sure, Joe. Um, just procedurally, I mean, before the board uh, entertains a motion to adjourn, there's one other matter that I understand is pen pending before the ZBA in terms of an appeal. Should. Yes, that that appeal is going to be discussed um, on November 17th. Okay, so that's for next Tuesday night, and the time is 7 o'clock? 7, 7 o'clock, okay. and hopefully Alana will be coordinating the meeting. All right, that's not a regularly scheduled meeting of the ZBA, so there will have to be notice in the paper, in timely notice for that meeting on Tuesday the 17th. Of the Is meeting. that correct? Okay. So I need to alert who, Alana. Who's going to do that? Uh, our new secretary, Alana. Okay. Is there adequate... Is there adequate, is, what, is the, what is the time sequence that the public needs to be notified with regard to that? 
uh, for a regular meeting, generally five days. So if something gets, I don't know if there's a newspaper publication that could happen on the 12th, but if not, at least on the website or um, whatever the ZBA uses to announce its regular meetings. It's gonna to be too late, Joe, to send it to the um, newspaper because today was the cutoff at noon. Yeah, it won't, then get, it won't, won't be get published. It won't published be published, but we Thursday could put it- edition, this coming Thursday, because yeah. the meeting is next week. But we could post it on the signboard and we can call the paper and call the newspapers and tell them about the meeting on the 17th and post it on the website. Yeah, they'll put it, well, it can be posted on the town's website too. Or whatever, yeah. Yeah, she can post it. But I'm just saying the cutoff was today at noon. Right, it might not make newspaper publication, but if the press is called and notified under these circumstances, because I think it was kind of a special meeting uh, put in because of scheduling conflicts, notify the paper, get it up on the website. You've got a public meeting scheduled for 17th. Certainly the parties, or I'm going to guess, Stacy, the parties are aware that it is scheduled for the 17th? Yes. Okay. So a question, Joe. It's an appeal, not a public hearing. Not a public hearing, correct. So it still has to be published in the newspaper? I, as it's, a it's, a it's a regular, well, it's a special meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Right. Not a public hearing, but it is a public meeting. Yes. So as a public meeting, we would have to notice it, but do we have to notice it in the newspaper? I don't, it doesn't necessarily have to get published if the newspapers are contacted and told of the meeting and you put it up on the website where people would go would know to go for public notices, I think then you have a, le a lawful meeting. Does that answer it, Stacey? Well, yeah, you, you, you say it has, to, you know, it has to get to the newspaper. So it has to be published in some form of, of newspaper, whether it's digital or-, or... We've, got to, we've got to tell them. We can call them. Right. No, no, no. Them there's a meeting. Right. No, no. I, no, I understand. I just thought there were, I didn't know that there was, I thought there was a difference between publishing something in a newspaper, okay, for notification, than publishing a special, you know, of the town, whatever board it is, just on the town's website. Well, that's why I'm suggesting in this case for someone to call the press and tell them about the meeting. Right. No, I, no, I get that. I get that. Pardon? No, no, okay. I, I Okay. I, I guess deal, my question I is has to be put in the paper. Okay. I will make sure that's the editor will be watching. What paper does it go in, Pat? Longer, it's no longer the New Paltz Times. It's a, um, I think it's called a Hudson Valley, uh, well, or something like that. One Hudson or something like that. It's a new, it's a, it, they combined it because of the COVID, all the area papers under one. Okay. Doesn't okay. the town, all, does, didn't the town also designate it daily or am I wrong? We never, we've never posted anything in daily papers. Well, no, but my question is, did the town board also designate it daily like the Kingston Freeman? No, no. no. A, the, the official newspaper was the New Paltz Times. No, 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 it was, but something, and Stacy's shaking her head. Something no. tells me that a, a while ago, a couple of years ago, when these issues came up, that the town board also designated a daily paper for the purposes of notices. And Stacy seems to be shaking her head yes. I never sent anything to a no, daily paper. No, I, and that may be true. You never had to do it. So right. it probably didn't get done. 
but I think we can look into that and get a notice probably if, if there has been a daily designated like the Kingston Freeman, it could happen Thursday at the latest Friday, but I prefer it for Thursday. Yeah, I'll touch base with Alana. Would you touch base with her, Stacey? Okay, so you, Stacey, you will take care of that with Alana? I will. I'll get it out. We'll get it out Thursday. It's just something crawls around here that said we designated a daily for these kinds of circumstances as well. Yeah, you're right, though. We did we've it. not used it a lot, but it, but we've done it. Yeah, is the Kingston Freeman? It's Freeman, yeah. Okay. Anyone else have anything else they would like to speak of or about? Entertain a motion to close the meeting. Seconded by Stephen. All those in favor, aye. 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 Thank you, Catherine. Good night to all. Good night. We'll see you on December 9th. Night. Thanks again. Thank bye. you, Pat. Bye. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Pat. Bye bye now. Happy holidays.